play date episode 29 29 i believe so wow the peter tarling episode he, yep he wore 29 i know i know him um can i can we start by talking about your weekend will how was your weekend <laughs> <laughs> I had a good weekend I had a good weekend did a little short film on saturday nice it's some acting and then uh i sang a little Zach Bryan at Country Night. Yep, on Saturday night. Lauren, can we pull this up? I yep. got a I got and a video from my friend who happened to be in the crowd and was like, "Is that fucking? Is that fucking well done?" Yeah, yeah. He uh, you, he ruined this because he said, "Who is to take a video to send to put on the podcast?" Or Did something. he say that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? I didn't ask him to do this. I don't think. Okay. <laughs> So I, th- I think it's important to note that is that's a quarter gallon of milk. Whole milk. Whole milk. And now you're just covered in it for the rest of the night. Did you reek of milk? Yeah. Who are those Sorry. people on the stage? She's so good. So who are they? Pause it for a second. Who are these people that just joined you mid? That's party? Ryan Jones. He's one of the guys who runs Country Night. Nice. So he's allowed to do that. Other people. Oh no, I didn't mean like I didn't. <laughs> I, 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 there was no part of me that was like, "You're too big for people to, <laughs> to be joining you on stage." No, I, I just wanted some context. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't. There was a lot of people by the end of it. You're good. You're a good performer. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of hype. It's kind of electric, dude. I haven't I haven't seen video of it yet. Kind of hit that shit. Uh, that's probably enough. Wait, I want to watch it. <laughs> Sounds so good. Dude, I kind of killed that. Yeah. I kind of killed that shit. <laughs> I don't know what I yelled. I he has a he has a great. You said country night. My as my buddy Luke Sawyer sent me that. Yeah. Shockingly steady hand. I've never yeah. seen like a clearer concert. Yeah, that was yeah. great. You gotta send me this video. I yeah, well, that's the first. He sent me three. That was just the one that had you chugging milk in it, which I thought was. Oh cool. yeah, so the milk. So they hand. It's like a big thing. They do like a bunch of different like milk theme. Like they do like chug offs and like they had like an eight teated beer bong like full teated. of milk. Like no, because it was supposed one. to be like a cow. Teated is still. Te- it was teated. It, we had an eight teated. It was like shaped like the belly of a cow, uh, full of milk. So you're literally sucking the teat. Yeah, it was like a tube of milk. Anyway, they had like that. The milk is somehow a big part of what they do at these events, and um, they handed me a half gallon right when I went on. Yeah, uh, as they do. And yeah, and so I was singing, and then I drank. I was caught up in the the spirit of country night. The throws. Of so I drank happened. almost that entire half gallon of milk. Between like that, what you saw, and then the end, mm-hmm. and then immediately after getting off stage, I booked it to the bathroom and yeah. just like like I don't drink milk, like I drink oat milk and I'm I kinda, like dairy. I'm not like I'm like fine, but like it, it'll fuck up my stomach if I drink a lot. Of yeah, dairy. and whole milk especially is like game over. So you I have, like a little blowout. Immediately went to the bathroom and just threw up straight milk for like <laughs> ten minutes. Then I just went back to the yeah. To the, it was great. Like I, I'm, I'm glad I threw up because I couldn't have. Yeah, it ruined. Did you have to throw up, or were you like, I don't want to have like diarrhea later? Uh, I was like a little bit of both. Like I was feel like feeling nauseous. I was like, I don't want to be here feeling like this. So I just went to the bathroom and took yeah. care of business. Yeah. What's it, the most milk you've ever drank? That that was. Oh, okay. That was it. Hundred percent. Right. I've yeah. never tried to. It's so not they, like a, they handed it to you with the intention of like you have to drink this while you're singing. I mean, yeah. I was like, I could have not, but Funny. I was. You know, I was. You know, I like. Whole, I actually like whole milk. It was but gross, not man. in that. It was capacity. really gross. Yeah. Yeah. It was great though. It was a blast. Good. I drank a gallon in uh, in f- like fourteen minutes. That's insane. Yeah. Did you throw up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, that makes sense. For like hazing or something, I'm assuming. No, 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 no. This was, a, was really thirsty. Like, a fun, <laughs> a fun, spicy wings. A fun game we were playing freshman year of college, and the it was funny because it was like. Every we all lived in the same dorm, so like getting like getting back from the game was like we were just all lined up and just cracking up about how loud everyone was pooping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. 
Right. There was a one time that reminds me of that same bathroom, the dorm that we lived in. Like, uh, I went in and I thought it was my, like, I could have sworn it was my roommate's feet pooping. And we would, like, always, like, dump the, the, there was, like, a trash can that was just only paper towels. And, like, you would go and, like, dump it on your buddy if they were in there. And I got up and I'm, like, looking in, like, holding the trash can. And the kid looks up. It's a different kid. It's not my roommate. And we, he was just like, ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, I'm so sorry. And then it was one of those things where now I've just seen this guy naked. Yeah. And there's so a guy we, who lived on your floor. Yeah. But like we weren't buddies and I would see him around campus or like in the dorms and be like, yeah. Wait, what does that mean? You recognize your roommate's feet. Were they bare? He had like the chocolate rainbows. It was like a different type of flip flop. And it was like, okay. it was like, I can swear that that's like. It looked like his feet, but they were also like a, a type of flip flop that he was the only guy I knew that had him. Got it. And had, uh, yeah, that would have held up in court if you'd assaulted the guy. Yeah. <laughs> Your Honor, look at their feet. They have, they have <laughs> like a student conduct trial. But yeah, like, they have to hold pictures of the feet up. Did you ever get? Did you ever get called into like the stand like school board yeah, or whatever? I got I think six or seven not responsibles, which means I was. C- accused of something and then talked my way out of it you were I was acquitted. sort of a, i was a, i was acquitted like seven times it was insane yeah because i would i remember freshman year like it was not you weren't allowed to have beer boxes in your room like they would do room checks yeah and if you had beer boxes that like implied that you had beer yeah it was like room. paraphernalia yeah exactly and so i but i had legitimately gotten i had started making these like posters out of mm-hmm. uh like beer boxes like we've all done it. No, no, no. Let me show you. You were, ma- you, you were making a beer wall. No, no, no. But look, 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 okay. <laughs> like actually cool. I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I, I have a picture. I, I just stumbled across this recently. Actually, hang on, hang on. It's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be so fucking sick. Everyone's gonna love it a ton. Oh yeah, like I found it already. Here, we'll put a picture of it. Up. Slack it to Brian. Should I just slack it to Brian? Let me just show it to you. Yeah, you made a beer wall, but it's Massachusetts. Yeah, it's co- it's definitely cool. It's definitely a cooler beer wall, but it's Massachusetts. Yeah. It's also like it's funny to be like, Your Honor, I Wait, was doing. Well, Your Honor, I was being creative with it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> is that cool? Yeah, it's the outline of Massachusetts. Yeah, but like Maybe. I, I guess my argument, and I made a South Carolina one. Oh, my argument is like, just because you cut it into something cool doesn't make it. Not a not beer wall. A beer box. Well, it's, no, no, no. I mean, oh, like, oh, like you still had the thing. Well, so the the problem was that I had that, which they were like, "Oh, we're just we just have to take this. We we're just taking this." And then I also had like collected a bunch of beer boxes from like all the beer we we're drinking, which was sick of us, <laughs> which was awesome. Uh, they were all under my bed. Like I had like seven beer. Bo- like I would take them from our neighbors and stuff. Yeah, because I was ma- I'd made like a South Carolina one. I was gonna make one like for my friend. Yep, of like. I was, like, making them for people. It was, like, my little art project. And uh, so they found, like, seven beer boxes under my bed. And then I went to the meeting, and I was like, I didn't drink anything. I just yeah, collected beer boxes from the trash outside. I said I went to the senior housing and took all the boxes from the trash to make more posters yeah. and show like, them the poster. Nerd. I was like, it was an art project. <laughs> yeah, I don't drink at all. And he was like, oh, okay, you're good. Yeah. I got acquitted. Acquitted. Yeah. Yeah. I, um... I had a couple, but it was like, like I remember I had to go to like a drug program because it, Rollins had one of those things where it was basically like it didn't matter, like the quantity, yeah, yeah, of like anything. It was it was treated the same way. So like, I got caught with like four Bud Lights or something in my fridge, and had to go through like the whole program as if someone, like the same way someone who got caught with drugs would have to go yeah. through it. So it was like meeting with a drug counselor and it, them being like, <laughs> they had to prove I didn't have like a problem. <laughs> and I was like, I, I had four Bud Lights like in, in my like fridge or something. It was, you know, yeah, nothing to write home about. Oh yeah. That's uh kind of hysterical. I did do like an online, like alcohol thing. I think one time. Yeah. Do you remember the test? Did you guys have to do like training before you got to college where it was like, you know, uh, awareness on like sexual assault and stuff like that and you had to like do the quizzes but it was all yes all common knowledge stuff like you yeah, should yeah, be yeah. able That's to what i was talking you should yeah. be able to pass it with flying colors yeah. i remember peter talking about it and being like 
Man, those are pretty tough. <laughs> we like, oh God, I guess that's why they do it. <laughs> he was like, he like had learned a bunch of stuff that you would think would be yeah. complete common knowledge. All right, should we give a roadmap? Yeah, road I, think, map. I think that you want to take the reins on that today. <laughs> yeah, I could do it today. All uh, right, you do the roadmap. We got your pitches. We got our pitches. We got everyone's new favorite hit segment. Teach me something. TMOs. Will and I are going to draft. This might be our first draft of th- things that like are. <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah. This is, he texted me last night. He was like, hey, what if like we mixed it up and we dra- We did like superpowers or something that does or something like that that does <laughs> exist. And Will was like, and I was like, what? what are you talking about? That makes no sense. He was like, you know, like so we do something that's like actually exists instead of coming up with stuff that doesn't exist. And I was like. Like superpowers? Yeah. You're like, yeah, like superpowers that already exist. Yeah. I oh. meant like I meant like more just ones that like we would conventional. Yeah. Mm. And but then we're doing it's funny because they don't exist. Yeah. And then we're doing Oh wait, sorry. Before that, I always forget this. Lauren is gonna do a couple of your guys' Am I the Asshole submissions. Then we got superpowers, then we got horror movies that don't exist, which I'm so excited about. I think I've got some good ones. Yeah. And then we've got our personality segment. I guess it's always funny that we like frame that like it's a segment and it's just I've never planned. Yeah, I think only you. I think I don't plan it. Oh, oh. Do you apologize now? (laughs) I'm sorry. Should we hear some pitches? Yes. Yeah, we can hear pitches. Okay. Okay. God damn it! Daylight savings. Hope everyone's enjoying it. Oh yeah, that sucks. The worst. No, I'm loving it. Oh, you did it at the worst time too because you were like up late when it happened yeah we so we it was actually so funny we had just gotten back from from country night and we were like hey it was like me billy and chet and whitney we were all like in our just like in the living room hanging out and then chet just walks in he goes guess what guys and we're like what he's like we just gained another hour (laughs) and we're all like yeah 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 and then he walks out of the room and billy goes i'm almost certain we just lost an hour yeah yeah (laughs) Well, because it goes from 1 a.m. to 2 a.m., which is yeah. brutal. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, Chad comes back in. He's like, God damn it. I haven't even looked it up, but I know Billy's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hear okay. some pitches. First one is from Drake Viola. He says, what's going on, Lauren, and the other two schmucks? <laughs> fuck this guy. <laughs> yeah, fuck this guy. What? New pitch funny. of New pitch no, of you, Oh, you, let me guess. You thought it was funny? Well, guess how I feel. I'm a schmuck. Yeah. That, I don't know. God damn it. And the other two schmucks. Yeah. They're turning against us, dude. No. How many people do you think listen for just for Lauren? Mm, one. Like... My mom. Mom, mom. My mom. mom. Your mom. Hi, Nancy. Okay. Hi, this mom. is a fashion app that takes pictures you send into it of your whole body in different positions. Then you send it in, or no, then you send in pictures of all the clothing pieces in your closet. And AI then generates those pieces of clothing on a virtual avatar review. It also assumes. I already did this, I think. And Clueless did it. What? The movie Clueless. That was a good movie. Never well, seen you it. didn't do that. You didn't come up with this. I'm almost sure I said you scan all the all your clothes and then it will make outfits for oh, you. Oh yeah, but you didn't include scans of your body. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> She's got fucking one up. And AI then generates those pieces of clothing on a virtual avatar view. It also assumes what each of the pieces of clothing dimensions are and it compiles them into a 3d image of it so it can be virtually placed on your bod it's in the style of tony hawk's pro skater where you can switch out each item to make different fits your character also says really cool npc stuff to you like if you can't handle the grind get off the half pipe loser i'm back in on this one keep it up boys yeah keep it up boys big fan of the pod rusty i know you're gamer tag now by the way let's go if you yeah. can't handle the dude we got a lot of dms with that i was like i'm sorry what well i like forgot to bleep it out oh your gamer tag. Remember? I did notice the other day that I had a, a, a lot like, of more oh. friend requests than normal. <laughs> I thought I just, I thought I just was like killing it online. And everyone <laughs> wanted to be my friend. Um, that's awesome. I love it. What was that half pipe thing in? He was just saying like Do that. Your character can say. Really, yeah. What was the phrase? If you can't handle the grind, get off the half pipe, loser. That's yeah, good. That that's good that's really good. Yeah. Is that original? No, yeah, probably. No, nah, I feel like Tony grind. Hawk probably said that. Because, like, grinding. Like, bumping and grinding. Uh, Wait, isn't that like skateboarding? Yeah. Did you grind? Were you ever a grinder? Like, I, at the club? In middle school? In Tony Hawk? What? Whoa. Lord what? Knows, like, in middle school? 
No, no. All right, all right, all right, all right. You harlot. No, did you guys? How many this, people were you grinding? This was on? a thing. No, no, I didn't. Cool. But like everyone would make like grind lines at like the dances. Yeah, I think you told me that one time, and it blew my fucking mind. I yeah. Just a bunch of guys getting fucking. I've never worked on. I feel like different parts of the. We weren't allowed to do that. Are different. Yeah, yeah. I remember. <laughs> yeah, I remember hearing like people like in like the like San Francisco area. Yeah, like people just were going nuts in like high school, like <laughs> all over each other. Yeah, we weren't. It uh, was like very f- prohibited. Yeah, if we even, got, if if we got caught grinding on each other, I think they would just execute you. Even at senior year of high school, I would have gotten like yelled at by the administration and called in the office if I was. Yeah, agree. Grind lines is a foul. No, I yeah. know. Is that, like yo, hung a line of exactly. Well, no. Keep in no, no, mind, no, these are like saying, twelve year olds, so it's not like actually that makes it like, so sexual. What? That it's makes, just like makes it. What do you mean it's not sexual? It's the horniest gr- demographic of people. Twelve year old guys. I don't think I was quite there yet, dude. I, Lauren's yeah. saying the, all the guys are lined up, like facing uh, yeah. the same direction, and then the girls like pick a guy. I'm a, oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm aware. Of what, yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought when you said no, line, I, mean, I didn't want you to think like, like there was a line of people. And, oh, like, oh, actually, actually, yeah, that was what I was. They you're saying like, they're all facing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So they were all. Uh, they were isn't like a like a like human a red centipede, rover. A human yeah, yeah. Centipede, okay, so. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, super foul. Yeah, that sounds stinky. That has nothing to do with. <laughs> I got ground on once. Grunded. Ground. I got ground once. Grunded. How was it? It was like the. F- I think I've told you this already, but it was the. F- it was the first time I went out. You have yeah. <laughs> in college, and like we were at like kind of a ratchet place, and I remember, uh, you know, a UCF person grinding on me and being like, "I don't like this at mm-hmm. all." Like I didn't let it. Ha- I didn't. Yeah, uh, you're missing out. <laughs> well, I just feel like I feel like I don't you get that one back. I feel like there's. I feel like I don't want to be horny in public. You know what I mean. If we're grinding on each other, that implies that like, I think you can, I think you're like yeah I know I know what you mean I feel like some people are so unapologetic about it yeah but like it's like that guy definitely has a boner right now <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> I love college okay let's <laughs> let's do the next, <laughs> the next <laughs> all right next pitch is from Tony Anderson T-A. This is a uh, hover koozie. Good evening, gents and lore dog. Have you ever, that's a fun one. Have you ever been sitting on the couch with your boys watching TV or other things and keep having to bend over in an uncomfortable way to grab your brewski? Yes. I present to you Hover Koozie, a koozie that hovers just within comfortable reach so you don't miss a second of your show slash movie or game. I'm high level, so I don't know how the koozie would hover, but you get the gist. Thanks, fellas, big time listener. What is he saying? You're watching a movie and you have to reach... No, like your coffee tables in front of you, or if you don't have a the- coffee table, or like you have your stuff on the ground, you have to reach, and it's just a big thing. Yeah. So this that's guy not really just- something that's ever bothered me. Ever. Really? Oh, I it bothers me. Hate it. Yeah. Huh. Like my my couch has like a perfectly flat armrest, and so like I can put a drink there, but it's soft enough couch that like like I'll put red wine on it, and I and then I'll be halfway through and be in. Holy shit! I just like had a brain aneurysm. I'll be like very worried at all times that the drink is gonna fall off. Oh yeah, yeah. I like the hover koozie. I like the yeah. I guess that would be cool. Yeah, you really slung, right slunge here. back in it. You could put snacks in it. I was yeah. Well, even like right now, I wish I just had like little snacks like lined up. Have you seen yeah. those astronauts? Like when they come back from space, they forget that like gravity exists. So like they'll go to like put something there. And like let go to like go do something else, and it just like falls yeah. to the ground. No. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> awesome. There is an astronaut, and he's like explaining something, and he like goes to like put his pen there, and it just like falls to the ground, and he like turns around, and it's not there anymore. <laughs> um, all right, should we pitch each other? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, all right. I what? got I got the tall car. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got a picture in my head, but I'm yep. waiting. I'm gonna right. wait, and it's like a regular car. But the distance between the bottom of the car and the ground is like, you know, eight feet in the air. And it has like a really wide wheelbase. So if you're in traffic, you can just drive over the other cars and your like wheels are on either side of them. That's awesome. You just go through traffic. And what if like a bunch of people get them? Then, then there's like a second, la- traffic. Yeah, a second layer <laughs> second layer of traffic. And that is just a fucking nightmare. <laughs> I like this. I like this a lot. What? Cool. You What's like it, Lauren? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is yours? All right. You all know the phone wallet, right? Yeah. Wallet phone. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> wallet phone. 
think about it. It's you take it's just a little thing you just clip on the back of your wallet, and it's just simple. You can do like phone calls, or there's like a button for it to call you an Uber home. Nice, and that's it. And then it's like if you want to be like very present wherever you're going, don't want to bring your phone, deal with all that. You yeah, just grab your wallet phone, slap it on the back of your wallet. It's like sticks right on like the phone wallet does. Yeah, and uh, you got all the only features you need, and you have a clear mind, clear day, clear hearts. Can't lose. I was picturing like a wallet that like flips open and it's like your wallet is like part of it and then there's like a screen on the other side of the wallet. Okay, that I almost like better. <laughs> I might have to go back to the drawing board. But I like I like this is the ping pong yeah. the ping ponging that this is how big business starts. Yep. Ping ponging. Wait, so you said it's like a sticker? Kind yeah, of? like a phone wallet would be. Yeah. Yeah, it was in my mind, but I like the idea of like flipping open your wallet and being like yeah, and they're like, who's that madman talking to... <laughs> yeah, you look like talking, an insane he's, person. He's talking to Chase Bank on a, <laughs> yeah. on a leather phone. Fo- leather talking wallet. to J.P. Morgan himself. Um, I love that. Lauren, let's... Uh, Is it just me or does nobody work here anymore? Has anyone... Nobody. No, there's no one here ever. There's never anyone in our office. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. No one works here anymore. Everyone just dilly-dallies all day long. So I don't know if hard work. It feels like Will and I are the only people working. It feels like we're the only people working. <laughs> All right, Lauren, let's hear if we're if someone's the asshole. Uh, like I'm the only person working. <laughs> so I said I'm working. Okay. First one. Wait. You're having an all. No, but I think it's making me like less like social, and it's making me just because like, you're just all you can think about is. Hot sex. No. <laughs> okay. I, Got her ass. It's making me. It's making me. It's making me like way less social and like all I want to do is like grab everyone by the balls. <laughs> right. Shut up. I think you need some ashwagandha. You need that opposite of whatever. Okay. So this kind of confused <laughs> me as to why this is an am I the asshole? But I just want to read it. Alright. Um. Okay. This is from Denya. Denya business. Well, I don't know what his actual name is, but <laughs> big tame play, big tame what? <laughs> big time playmate since the beginning. After getting brought over by Will and Liam. Nice. Thanks for being here. Goat. But am I the asshole for keeping a bat in my car to intimidate homeless crackheads? <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, Lauren goes. Lauren, Lauren goes. I don't know how this wouldn't. I don't know how they'd be the asshole in this situation. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> I'm a 20-year-old male and work at Dutch Bros in a kind of shitty part of Sacramento. At all times of the day, it's crawling with crazies. We're not allowed to get rid of them ourselves, and they tend to get hostile and Let's scream. Get rid of yeah, them. Yeah. <laughs> time, time, time. They don't let us get rid of them ourselves. <laughs> it's so funny that like that would be your. It sounds like he's gonna kill them. Yeah, he wants to. Let, he, they won't let us exterminate them ourselves. <laughs> All right, continue, sorry. They scream profanities and racist shit. Sometimes they walk up to the cars in line and panhandle. What does that mean? I mean, give me money. money. Oh. But this recent Sunday night, this crazy cracked out chick threw rocks at my car windshield and smashed it. Wait, he sent photos. Oh God. Um, I'll put them in the actual pocket. Holy shit. Oh, jeez. I would lose my marbles. That's no bueno. Um... Obviously, my work can't do anything, and we don't think they got it on camera. So from now on, if I see a hostile acting street creature, okay, <laughs> roaming around our cars, I'm confronting them with an aluminum bat. Even more context, a week before I was hired there, I was robbed at gunpoint in the same parking lot, and there was no security guard to be seen, and the police were never able to do anything about it. The security guard came up to order a drink 30 minutes later, and one of my friends working pressed him for not being there or even showing up when the cops arrived. He no longer gets free drinks. Thanks for taking the time to read all this if you do. Lots of love to y'all. Um, first of all, gets they, two incidents and they both are like, oh, we didn't have footage or anything. Get security cameras feels like step one. Yeah. Also, but like even if you caught them, like what are you going to do? Like sue the homeless guy? What? I don't think it's. Yeah. I mean, you could. I guess they could go to jail but yeah. more just as like a deterrent even yeah seems like if they can keep keep getting away with stuff they <laughs> keep well i i my my question is like was the, was he cuz it does feel like the, this person is 
kind of confronting them like head on. Like he he like likes to be in the thick of yeah these things. So like I wonder if he or is it a is it a boy or a girl? Yeah. I wonder if he like is is like chirping them and then she like threw rocks at his car. I'm also wondering like is are you gonna hit one of them with a baseball bat? Like are you- well, I think that's his question. Like, I feel like he wants to maybe intimidate them. And so he's yeah. seeing an asshole for, like, to getting out of his car and, like, yeah. having this bat. I'm just picturing that that lady was throwing rocks at his car and he, like, comes out with a baseball bat and he just starts cranking the rocks, like, <laughs> out of the park. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that- like, whoa, 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 whoa. It's like, it's like, uh, <laughs> like in Star Wars, how, like, they're, they, yeah. can, they can, like, deflect the, <laughs> yeah. the laser beams with their, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think maybe, maybe you drag it behind you, like, on the ground ominously on oh, your way, like, God. in and out of that's the. That's the scariest thing of all time yeah so you let him know i would even take this further and get like a crowbar and like have like have grip tape on the crowbar so it's like implied that you've been using this enough that you needed yeah. better grip on it you were like the last guy i used on this it slipped out of my hands never again yeah i think i don't know that you're the asshole necessarily but i think that's probably not the probably not like the best way to well what I would guess... you recommend i would i don't know if someone yeah. if someone's assaulting you and throwing rocks at your car yeah no you no, need no. to you need to find it just seems like the like the the that's like not really acceptable for like your workplace no he just keeps it in his car no 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 no, no. i'm not saying having a bat i'm saying like oh, oh. that this kind of stuff keeps happening to an employee like at some well it's a point, bar no it's not it's a dutch bros that's a coffee company why do you say no more free drink uh coffee, coffee drink. dutch bros is like a Gotcha. It's like coffee and lattes and like, I, I don't know. At some point, like if that's where you're, their ex- employees are expected to park, like I hope they paid for that window. Like they should. They yeah. probably that, aren't. I mean, but they like, should. Like if that's a consequence of you going to work, yeah. that's their fault. It sucks. I don't know. seems like shitty on Dutch bros part. But yeah. I, 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 on a personal level, I mean, it seems like a, a right, valid let's, resort. Let's say like, let's say that the employer can't do anything. What like methods are you, what things are you going to do to prevent it yourself will like what would you do to like baby oh, deter no i i would i mean i'm put a sign it's like th- throw rocks at this car if you're if you're uh stinky <laughs> yeah no i i think it should be the employer okay but i'm saying like like let's give it him can. a piece of advice like for oh, 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 oh. for like if that doesn't work out like what can he do Man. i would probably park like i mean he said it's a shitty area but maybe try to find an area with like try to park in a different area. Well, if you park in a different area, then you got to walk through this shitty part. Yeah. yeah. Well, this so that's what I meant by this isn't really like I don't get how it's like an am I the asshole? I just wanted to read it. I think Dutch Bros is the asshole. No, yeah, you, this guy's definitely not the asshole. I'm sorry for you. Yeah. Not dude. NTA. NTA. Okay. Next one is from Johnny Dubs and we have actually we had a pitch from him like a few months back. Cool. Oh. So. What was it? It was Actually, I don't Oh, oh wait, this was actually recent. It was the shower uh, thing that you can draw on in the shower. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, okay. Am I the asshole? Johnny Dubs here with my craziest date story. I'm probably the asshole for this, but I think it's a funny story. All right. About a year ago, me and my boys went to go see Avatar Way of Water. Awesome. And we get this idea to smuggle in a case of beer into the theater. Genius. These guys sound fucking awesome. (laughs) I'm the group's beer goblin, so I load up my pockets with about 15 beers. Okay. What were you wearing? (laughs) (laughs) No, he said, I'm wearing three jackets. Okay. With about three to five pockets apiece, two beers a pocket. (laughs) And the rest of the guys bring some too. Well, we leave our apartment and walking up to our door is the girl I'm seeing. And I guess I told her I was taking her out that night. So I play it off as we were going to the movies. And then the entire runtime, about three hours, I proceed to drink all the beers and not talk to her. Wait, she went to the... The... She was like, she was like, we're going out. And he was like... You bet we are to the movies. So he He was like, he like pretended like that was the thing. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so he plays it off, blah, blah, blah. He proceeds to drink all the beers and not talk to her. I cried during the film and she asked if I was okay, but that was about it. I broke You're it off. You're supposed to talk during the movie. I know. I don't yeah. Know I broke it off later by lying about joining the military and told her I was getting deployed to Vietnam. So I guess I'm probably the asshole, but I wanted to know the guy's thoughts. <laughs> my f- he says, my, fr- my friends think I'm the asshole, but the girl didn't seem to care. You're getting deployed to Vietnam? I'm confused as There's to no where he thinks there. he's the asshole. Sounds like he's just a bad liar. You're like, yeah. oh shit, he submitted this in 1973. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Yeah. So I guess <laughs> my first question is like, it seems like she was fine with how that date went. So I wonder why you felt the need to break it up. Like those feel yeah. those don't feel mutually those don't feel tied to each other. Those feel like two separate issues. Yeah, I don't think it's weird that you didn't talk during the movie. Yeah. It well, is funny to just be like, date night, and then it's yeah. like, me and all my boys are going to go watch Way of Water and <laughs> kill beers. Basically, he's saying, lo- yeah, he says at the end, long story short, am I the asshole for taking a girl out to the movies and getting hammered in the theater? Like, no. Yeah. Yeah? Yep. Unless she was, like, on that same vibe. Yeah, if she was on board, that sounds like, sounds like an awesome time, date, but-, but it feels like she was expecting a date, and then, uh, and then you just got... My, yeah. In my in my personal experience, uh, getting really drunk around the girls that you like is just those don't go hand in hand. Doesn't usually work out well. Yeah. What uh, I, I'm confused about like what the what the game plan was if he didn't run into her. He just forgot that like yeah I guess so he was just gonna go watch that movie yeah I so on you, it- you probably are the asshole. Yeah, I'd say I think we gotta we gotta be as as fun as what you did sounds. Yeah, I think you're the asshole. Yeah, and about lying about like breaking it off, like why well, the Vietnam thing is if she believes that, then, yeah, like what? what? Dude, just, just, wait, yeah. also, how do you guys feel about movie theater dates? If it's like a first, I've never done that. Yeah, I've done that since middle school. It feels strange because it's you're not even getting you're you not even can't talking. talk. Oh, yeah. I think that's like the whole purpose is like we can kind of feel each other out and start to feel comfortable in each other's presence without the pressure to talk. Yeah. And then you go eat dinner after, and you have you have. You have like so much to talk about because you can talk about the movie that's true i like that line of thinking yeah i can't say i've ever done it though yeah i remember uh i guess the the concerts i've done which is kind of like that yeah yeah i did movie i did a movie date in like middle school or like maybe like freshman year of high school and that was pretty cool because when you're nervous about talking to someone yeah you just can you remember what movie it was yeah it was mad max you know i was saying i hate mad max yeah that's it was so boring it was like eight of us. You want to date with seven chicks? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like it was like me and my buddies, and then like three girls. Okay, it was so bad. I'm sorry to hear that. Mm-hmm. I've yeah. never seen it. It was a horrible. Movie. One time I went on a. I think this was also like late high school. I don't remember. Went on this date to the movies with this guy, and like he tried to hold my hand, and like from the jump, it was just not the vibe. And I was like, no, that's yeah. It's just you don't uncomfortable. Not if I don't like know you. Yeah, I barely knew him. Like, what? No, (laughs) it's just like I don't know. I feel like some people don't have like the social cues to know that it's like we just kind of met. It's not. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I like. Maybe I think you're. I think like if you're going on a movie date, that's kind of the only like move you could make, right? Is the hand or the like arm around? Maybe it was only. Maybe the vibes were only off for me. Yeah, yeah that must have been it. I, I also have never thing, like where you take your noses and go. Like, <laughs> I usually like smell her popcorn. <laughs> yeah, it's good. You can have it. <laughs> you ever do that move? She knows you're in charge. Yeah. What's your guys's movie theater snacks? Ooh, All right, corn. I used to be a big Junior Mints guy. I love Junior Mints. I knew a kid. I think I told you guys this already too, but he would pour his Pepsi in his popcorn and call it pissy shitties. Yeah, yeah. I don't like that at all. <laughs> in his popcorn? Yeah. What's What's wrong? You've barely touched your pissy shitties. Yeah. <laughs> I think this exact thing happened verbatim like yeah, yeah. twelve episodes ago. Um, no, I really like Sour Patch Watermelon Kids. Mm-hmm. Um. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> why do you think? No, I, 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 I realized that I messed that up, but I was hoping it would go on to take. I couldn't have you calling us kids. No, oh, no, watermelon kids. They should make those with like the little watermelon with little legs. Yeah, we could do that. That'd be fun. I'll let them I, could, I, I might take a little bit, but I'll, I'll make some calls. I uh, so we can okay. when when my roommate and I went and watched uh, the Bob Marley movie, I got a, like the biggest popcorn <laughs> and uh, mm-hmm. the biggest cherry coke, and it was a blast. Oh, I want to go to the movies now. Yeah. I had two Mexican cokes yesterday. Those things are gas. They are gas. Do they really taste different? Yeah, it's yeah. made with like cane sugar instead of high fructose corn syrup. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. All right. Should we do? Teach me something. Yeah. Teach me, me something. something. All right. Can, oh. Wait. I, I know. Right as I turned it off. I teach me something. Oh, you brought a video? Turn it back on. I, Did you bring a video? I'm going to. That's a picture. So, picture. Planet Earth 3 just came out. Yeah. And Chester and I watched it a couple episodes yesterday. I heard. And, uh, I don't think you did hurt. Whitney told me. <laughs> no, that was Planet Earth 2. Okay. 
Planet Earth 3 was yesterday. Oh, this little guy. Yeah. So that's the frogfish. There's a big feature on the frogfish in episode two of the new Planet Earth. I highly recommend it. <laughs> and what's fascinating about it is you see that thing like sticking out of its nose? Yeah. It's like like a little like, yeah, that thing. Mm-hmm. So it's like designed to where it has a thing that looks like a little like shrimp or something on the end of like a little fishing line basically. Yeah. And so it just sits there quietly and then stuff comes and tries to eat that thing. And then it opens up and swallows them. Nice. So it's like it's like fishing, basically. It goes fishing oh. for, uh, for fish. Yeah, question. Um, what happens if it, like, is it just fucked if something actually gets it? Or can it regenerate it? I, I don't actually know. It, it all happens. I don't even think it lets it quite get there. I think it seems like it's playing a dangerous game. Wait, yeah, can I, do I, that's actually a good question. What's can it that? do camouflage? I mean, you, yeah, it can kind of like is doing camouflage. Wait, right now. let's. Should we? There might be a video of it. I don't know. If, let's look up like frogfish, or Google YouTube. That always pisses me off when people do that. It's like the video is going to come up if we just search it on Google. <laughs> yeah. Why do we have to frogfish? Uh. E, look at him. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Do the. Oh. Once everything's perfect. Well, don't do this one. Yeah, this is like telling us. Go back. Go back. Do the first one. This? Yeah. Oh, it's too fast for slow motion. So this thing is. Yeah. Oh my god, his legs. Oh my god. This is not even what the one looks like yesterday, but. Oh, yeah. It's got that little. This one has. This one looks like something else, but those fish want it. Ew. Yeah, I think th- I think the answer to your question is that it's eating things that wouldn't be able to actually maybe get their mouth around the Whoa. thing. Oh, what the s? Oh, holy fuck! Isn't that insane, bro? Yeah, that was so fucking. Wait, I need to watch it again. It's too fast for slow motion. You can't even watch oh. it. Oh, oh my god! Oh. I think it got like three of them. It just that's evaporated crazy. their buddy. Yeah. So that's the frogfish. That's what I want to teach you guys about. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, pretty cool. Wait, now I want to go home and, and watch. You should watch it. That. Yeah, it's really What is good. it on Netflix? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I didn't pull it up. All right, can I teach you guys something? Mm-hmm. That's when this one was cracking me up earlier. The year 45 B.C., was 445 days long, and everyone called it the year of confusion. Why? <laughs> because <laughs> Julius Caesar, Julius Caesar added two extra leap months to try and like he was trying to get everyone on his calendar, and he like just couldn't get it to line up right, so he kept like adding shit, and like it just went on for so long, and everyone was like, "Dude, when can we just go back to like the normal?" <laughs> The normal year. They called it the year of confusion, That's which I think is so funny. Awesome. Yeah. I, I, I like the idea that like most world records that are related to like world events were yeah. broken that year and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like how like, uh, like the NFL is like because they went to an 18 game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 18 week season. That's funny. Wow. Yeah. Wait, I need to start coming with one. I'm sorry. I always forget because I'm. Because you're what? Because I'm grabbing the am I the assholes and the pitches, and then I just it slips my mind. That's all right. Next time. Next time. That's right. good though. That's awesome. That is interesting. Will let's draft uh, superpowers that we would want. Okay. I'll even let you start. That do exist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. First, I would go with super speed. Okay. But I wouldn't be super flashy about it. No pun intended. Uh, I would... You'd go just fast enough that, like, it would still be in the realm of human possibility. And I would win, like, marathons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I would... <laughs> but, like, I think it would have to be marathons, because that's, like, when you could get away with, like, using, like, incremental speed yeah, yeah, power. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if I ran, like, a sprint, like, it'd be, like, obvious, like, something that's, like, super human. But in a marathon, I could just slowly run, like, a little bit faster. Yeah. And, uh, just become really famous, get a bunch of gold medals, a bunch of money... And just live like a normal life otherwise and keep it under wraps and then just be like the, the greatest runner of all time. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Uh, with my first pick, I'm going to go teleportation. Mm-hmm. Cuts all your travel out. Um, yep. And I just think it would be cool to just anywhere you want to go, you can go right now. Yeah. Didn't you do that in Nashville? Teleport? Yeah. Oh, I just got, I literally, I, I 
was convinced I discovered teleportation, but I just blacked out. So. <laughs> uh, next, I've got uh, X-ray vision. All right, perv. Not for pervy things, for like my, finding my wallet and my key and stuff, dude. I like that in your head. The only reason your wallet's lost is like it must be in the wall. Oh. No, it's like, <laughs> it's like in the couch most of the time. Yeah, yeah. I just need something where I, I like it's extra vision, but I can like pinpoint like a thing and it like glows and I can see through like everything that. to find it. Okay, cool. And I wouldn't use it to be a perv no. for the record. <laughs> you probably would, perv, you pervert, pervertant, pervertin, um, perverty. My next, for my second pick, I'm going to go time travel, um, which I feel like is kind of che- like cheating. Like that might not really be a superpower, but like. No, that's allowed. That's. I feel like I, mine are all just things that I want, I think could make me the most money in time travel. I could be rich today. What would you do? I would just go back in time to when I was in like seventh grade and be like, ask dad for as much money as possible. Like and buy put all, put it all in Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then i would go to like 2018 and be like sell it all that's kind of genius or i would just go back in time and invest in like amazon i don't know something cool yeah or no never mind i would just go back like a week ago and put all my money on or a couple months ago and just put all my money on like the winner of every basketball game or you go back to like the 50s and make write all the beatles songs <laughs> yeah you could do that there's a lot of shit you could oh do. that would be cool yeah i would go to the medieval times yeah and tell them about baseball. Oh, you would just get baseball started earlier? Yeah. <laughs> you come back, everyone's really fucking good. <laughs> get everyone's base. a little bit better. Yeah. <laughs> Batting averages are like around 400. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, I've got talking to dead people. Oh, why? Because you hear me out. First of all, I think I'd be the only guy that could do it. So I would You'd be, be like the only true medium. Yeah. Yeah, and so I'd be like the man in like heaven and so like i'd be like uh, i just think you'd get a head start and like people thinking you were cool before you get there yeah, so like once i get to heaven not only is it like the best place in the ever yeah. i think like i'm already like everyone knows me when i get there yeah like like you could also make a ton of money by being the only real person that can like communicate with the loved ones true. and stuff. just like to be like thomas jefferson dude what is up dude yeah, you could, you could, yeah. you know, people are like, this isn't what the founding fathers had in mind with the Constitution. You could just ask them. Yeah, I could literally, yeah. Like, is this still, does this thing still hold up? And they'd be like, dude, we didn't think you, <laughs> we didn't think you guys were going to take it so literally. Yeah, like, <laughs> we didn't know that like weapons were going to be fully automated yeah. killing machines. <laughs> um, I'm going to go, let me think. Oh, I'm going to go shape shifting. Mm. Yeah. I like that. I would just I would just make myself a slightly hotter version of myself. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't use it for anything like crazy. Instant like plastic surgery. <laughs> no, I would just shape shift into like a better looking version of myself. Or like impossible. Thanks. Or I would make myself look I'd pick like a big celebrity. Yeah. And go places. That'd be fun. For like a day. Yeah. Um I've got telepathy. Okay. What is it again? Um like Oh, you could, like, put thoughts in my head? Yeah, yeah, and I would just... You'd be like... We'd go on game shows. I'd go on game shows. <laughs> I'd just have my friend or someone yeah, yeah, go yeah. on all, all a bunch of... All my different friends would all sign up for all the game shows, and then once yep. someone got on, like, a game show... You'd be at home with I'd Google. just be at home looking it up and sending everything to their brain. You ever seen that guy that went on... This guy went on Who Wants to Be a Billionaire, and his wife was, like, yeah. in the crowd, like... He would be like... Excuse me. He'd be like, I wonder if it's A. And he would, like, listen, and he'd be like... It could also be B though, and she'd be like, <clears throat> and then they caught her. They caught them, and it was super awkward. Yeah, like d- she would cough were... whenever he said the right answer. Yeah, she was like oh. in the crowd of the show. Yeah, yeah. That's awkward. Um, I would go. I'm gonna go mind reading, mm. but like selective. I don't want to know it all the time, but I would like to see. You know, when you're talking to someone and you're like making plans, and you can't tell if they actually want to do that. Yeah, or not. <laughs> yeah. I don't think yeah. I'd want that. Why? I feel like I'd that's why it's selective. Yeah, that's true. I could just be like, I wonder what Lauren's thinking right now, and she'd be like, nothing. Shopping, purses. Um, yeah, probably like um, high heels. What, yes, like pink or something. Yeah, because <laughs> you're a chick. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, okay, my last one. I've got jumping crazy high. <laughs> that's just like a fun one, dude. Like Matt, like me getting to work would be like one hop. Yeah. I'd be like really good at basketball. Volleyball. Yeah. You'd win like every dunk contest. Football. Yeah. 
You just have, imagine I just have the quarterback throw it just straight up. Yeah, I'd be like, dude, just throw it up there. I'll come to, I'll go up and get it. Yeah. Um, nice. My, I feel like we only did have done four, four each. I did five. Okay, this will be my. Fifth. I went first, so this is okay. probably your last one. Um, I'm gonna go time stopping. Like on Sunday, I would just take a week on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Kick it. I like that. You're you're jumping crazy high. I was picturing. Um, I don't know if your legs are like elongating because I feel like that could be kind of cool. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Like, how are you? D- yeah. He just jumps higher. I think I just jump. I think his body like slubber. I would want flubber? my legs to just be like, and then you're like the tallest. You'd want to be a last and- girl. Yes, and then I could like step into downtown LA from here. Wow, that would be really tall. You remember that guy from uh, that guy from Sky High who like his arm. I, his, I think his name. Is. You ever seen Sky High? What high yeah. school for oh superheroes? Oh my gosh, so Ron iconic. Wilson bus driver. Never seen it. Never well, you would it. like Sky you High. You would. It's like yeah. it's a movie. Yeah. If if you, if I had to guess what your top five favorite movies were, I w- it would have been in there. That makes really? sense. Really? Yeah. It's the funniest movie of all time. I feel like it's not true, it, but is it for kids? It's for like teens. It like defined my childhood for some yeah. reason. I feel like I watched it a million times. Yeah, and there's this guy. I think his name's Stretch. I haven't seen it in a while. And he like his arm can just go really long, and he, but he's like uses it to bully people. Oh, that pisses me off now. Yeah, pull him up, Lauren. Pull up Stretch. This has been a strange episode. Really? I don't know. I thought it's been red hot. I thought we we're red hot. Yeah, his his enemy is this guy named Warren Peace. Isn't that funny? Warren. Warren Peace. That's funny. Is that that girl from uh, Girl on the Left? I feel like I recognize. Yeah, she was. Uh, I think Look up, uh, dude. Gwen from this show Jesus. was so. Gwen, Gwen from this movie was like the first time I was like, girls are pretty tight. Is that the mom? No. Look up Gwen. The Gwen bl- Sky High. Is it the blonde? No, Gwen Sky High. Uh, uh, yeah, Gwen, Sky Gwen High. Grayson. But it turns out she's actually like an old, like evil person. She's like old. Oh, she's yeah. like old as fuck. <laughs> she yeah, I mean she looks normal age. So he gets Will his name's Will Stronghold. Okay. And he like his dad and his mom are like the two most prominent superheroes and he hasn't gotten his powers yet. Got it. And so he gets sent to Sky High and uh and he like gets his powers and it's also I think just like super strength. Like he's just like a, a, another version of his dad. And uh yeah, it's pretty awesome. No more spoilers. There are, there are guys, so they have like heroes and sidekicks. Yeah. And they like go up and show their power. Oh, the dude from, it's the dude from uh, Succession is. Oh, I haven't seen that either. Okay. Well, it's like, it's hilarious that he is in success or whatever, but he has he, his powers that he glows. Oh, that's and like so he the like, worst one. He like gets up there and, and he's like, and nothing happens and he goes, I glow. And <laughs> they have to like dim the lights and he like slightly glows. <laughs> funny. All right, should we draft horror movies? Oh, yeah. These are horror movies that don't exist. I've got Back on the Market. Okay. It's a story of a haunted house, a movie about a haunted house, but it's told through the perspective of the realtor (laughs) who's just constantly having to relist this house and sell it because the homeowners keep getting murdered by the demons that possess the house. Yeah. And so it's like this moral dilemma where the guy's like, making so much money because this is like a multi-million dollar house and it's back on the market like every few weeks. Yeah, he's just making a fat commission. But then he's realizing that something sinister is up and so he has to kind of decide whether to take the ghost's head on or keep making the money and turn a blind eye. I like that I like that um, for some reason he has like soul control over selling it. Like they like they keep recommending the same realtor. He just get brutally murdered. Yep. Um, I got the hat. So it's like a really cool looking hat, right? And people will like find it in their attic and and they're like they're like drawn to this hat and they put it on and, and whatever possesses the hat makes these people do horrible things and it'll kind of disappear for like a hundred years because like the person will die and then someone else will dig it up and find it and put on the hat and like have to do whatever the demon says. Oh, but it's not this one. No. Or that it's one. Way cooler. Yeah. Probably it's cool. like a top hat. It's like a top hat. Yeah. Well, yeah, because like, it has to like transcend time. Yeah. You know, yeah. It has to be a hat that has existed for hundreds of years. Yeah. Do you guys see anyone with top hats nowadays? One guy. E.B. Farnham. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who? E.B. Farnham. E.B. Farnham. Oh. 
Okay. Uh, no. Next, I've got... <laughs> you did not like that. I've got Mission. Okay. Uh, mission is a story of a, a kid. It's like high school, college kid. He gets uh, goes on a mission trip. They're like it's like a medical thing. They're like administering aid to this like rural like indigenous community, and then he slowly starts to realize like the medicine that they're administering is like having all these like weird effects, and these people are becoming like more like docile and more like le- listening to like the leaders of the trip. And he slowly realizes that he's like part of this thing where they're brainwashing all these people and like forming a cult. Ooh. And uh, he's been complicit in like administering this like mind altering medicine. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, I got Mirrorville, USA. Mm, I like this. So the frames are on a road trip and they stop in Mirrorville. That's their name? The frames. Okay. Yeah. Um, the frames stop in Mirrorville for like gas and they see their next door neighbor there and they go and talk to him and he's like being super weird. And he's, like, saying that, like, he doesn't know them, but they're, like, positive that it's him. They slowly realize that it's, like, a mirror image of their town. And these people have been, like, waiting for the frames. They're, like, the last thing that this town needs to, like, break the curse. Mm. And they have to, like, they realize that the whole town is trying to kill them in this, like, weird ritual because the frames will, like, end the mirror curse or something. It sounds like like Us. Have you guys seen the movie Us? No. Oh. I've seen Up. Look up, look up us. It's probably really the good. same. It's probably just like up. I'm not going to waste my time. It's probably just like up. Yeah. Okay, I've got the van. Mm-hmm. It's like two people decide to do like a van life thing. Yeah. And then every night they like find a place to sleep and they go to bed and then they always wake up in these like really like bizarre parts of the forest like inexplicably yeah. without having driven the van. Mm. And um, they come to find out the van is possessed and it's driving them into the Grand Canyon. Um, I got Dealer I was was looking up a movie Oh nice Mm. I got Dealer Uh, It's basically a drug dealer is getting People hooked on this new Drug right And he's the only one that has it And then when they come back uh, It's like super addictive It makes them feel the best they've ever felt And then they wake up and they're having like horrible draws They need to get more of this drug That he has And uh that's how he gets you is like they, he doesn't accept money the second time you have to do things for him to get the drug so it like the he'll make him like kill someone or like do something horrible to like and they're but they're they need the drug so bad they'll do whatever he says oof yeah that's scary uh i've got insomnia okay it's a guy who's sleeping all the time and it's starting to ruin his life. I think that's the it's opposite. Of, it's, wow, looks like I can't even finish my fucking movie. <laughs> Sorry. He, he's <laughs> sleeping all the time, and he's wasting his life away, and he wants to turn it around. So he, like, gets down on his hands on his knees, and he's like, please, please, God, like, like I don't want to sleep all day. Like, I want to stay awake. And it's like he has this, like, he- crazy experience, and then he literally can't sleep. And over the course of like a week, he just loses his mind because he Ugh. he can't sleep at all. He's oh. completely exhausted. He starts hallucinating, and he goes absolutely crazy. And he ends up jumping off of the Grand Canyon. Oh, <laughs> oh, my oh my god! Gosh. Just a very depressed man. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, it was a horror movie. Yeah, um, it's not all Gappy the Lucky. <laughs> Yeah. Gappy go lucky. <laughs> yeah. My last one is called The Prankster. <laughs> so it's basically like this small quaint town just starts getting hit with these like devastating pranks. Like the guy will swap all the water in the fire trucks out for like kerosene. <laughs> like, it like makes the fire way worse or he'll like cut everyone's brakes That's, and like he's a, like he's like a yeah. YouTuber. Yeah. yeah, but like but like they're all like he he's he's acting like they're like fun little pranks, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and everyone's like constantly on edge because they don't know when the next prank is going to be. And it's just like r- the town is burning to the ground. Jeez. Literally. Uh, wait, did you only have four? Oh, no, I had, a, I had a fifth one. I thought that was my fifth. Uh, I've got Mousetrap. Mousetrap is a guy who has a rodent problem. They keep eating the food in his pantry. He lays out all these mouse traps, And then when he goes and checks them every day, they're like in there's just like inexplicable things in them like tentacles and like Ooh. like weird eyes and feet and stuff and so he starts <laughs> to realize it's not mouse problem it's like some crazy yeah. creature nice 
All right, I got Camp Tomahawk. Um, it's little Robbie's first year at camp, and when his parents drop him off, he realizes that the other campers have been there for, like, hundreds of years, and they're Ooh. clearly cursed, and they're trying to tell him, like, Robbie, you have to get out of here. Like, they'll keep you here forever, and, like, camp never ends. That's terrifying. That was, like, my fear as a kid. What? Like, my parents are never going to come pick me up. <laughs> I hated camp, dude. Yeah. I never went to sleepaway camp. Really? What day? I don't Never. know. I don't. <clears throat> um, all right. Whose personality are you guys going to steal this week? Mm. Mm. Lauren? I am. Um, did you guys see ever see Aquamarine? Yeah. Oh, you did? I love Aquamarine. Okay. Well, I'm going to Santa Barbara this weekend. Nice. And I love. And I I'm forgot her. Swim in the water tower. <laughs> Yeah. No, I, I forgot her name, but the mermaid, she's just so... I think her um, name's Aquamarine. Oh my god, yeah, that is her name. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna steal her personality because she's just very fun and vibrant, and there's a, summer is coming. There's a funny scene in that movie where they're at dinner, and like, because she's a mermaid, like, she always... Then she like... Does, she does things a little bit differently, as you could probably assume. Duh. And the boy, the boy sees her like pouring salt in mm-hmm. her water, like before she drinks it. And that's just like a random thing she does because she's a mermaid. Like, oh, like, oh, like, it's salt. like salt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's uh, funny. Did you guys ever read Mr. Gilfump as a kid? <laughs> Lauren, <laughs> pull up, made up. Lauren, pull up Mr. Gilfump. What do you want? Wait, can you can you look up like Mr. Gilfump like reading? Mr. Mr. Gilbert, Gilbert. <laughs> just went for it. <laughs> look, up, look up Mr. Gilfump reading. This I feel like this is a book that there were three copies and my family had one of them. It doesn't even. Yeah, that's Mr. Gilfump. Can you look up? Dude, yeah, I don't think this was like a big thing. I've never at all. seen this. So in my I life. grew up thinking it was like the biggest book. Can we can we look up like audiobook and just listen to it real quick? Listen to the audiobook. Just, it's like it's like going to be like two. Go to videos. It's a two minute book. Pro- <laughs> probably. I mean, it's like for children. It's like a picture book. Oh my. Okay, yeah. So it, it doesn't exist. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Uh, no, I never mind. No, that's, that's, not it. It. that's not it. That's not it. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> okay. No, that's not happening. <sighs> Yeah, I don't think yeah. Well, I'm gonna. Steal Why don't it. you just read it how you think that it would? Sound. I don't remember the story, but I remember <laughs> he like he lived in this cool like tall house and uh, tall car, tall house. I think he was like <laughs> I think he was like a like a lumberjack or something. But I'm gonna steal Mr. Gilfump's personality. If I'm remembering correctly, he was just like a good hang. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I feel like that was a bigger part of the book than. But like, it's just a good every hang. time I've brought up Mr. Gilfump, I've gotten the exact same reactions from everyone as you guys, where it's like. Yeah. Not only do I not only have I not read that book, but they like don't believe that it's a real. thing. It's a crazy name. Yeah, it's funny that you like. There's nothing on the internet about it. Yeah, I mean it's. There's like three search results, and they were all like, fo- like someone took wrote. a photo of it. <laughs> yeah, my, my grandma wrote. My dad, like my dad, like listened to Mr. Gofump when he was a kid, or like re- like had it read to him. So like it's like it has existed for a while. Huh. All right. Well, I guess it's gone out of style. Maybe. Maybe there's some like, <laughs> like you look back and there's some like really racist stuff in there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it got canceled. Yeah. Um. <laughs> my my personality <laughs> this weekend is going to be that of Waldo, trying to be a little bit elusive. You know. Yeah. I also, might I could see myself going to like a carnival or something. So somewhere where there's a lot of people. I yeah. went to the Santa Monica Pier on Friday night. It's a place to be. It's so random. Just for fun? Didn't know what we, me and, my, me and Mia didn't know what, what else to do, yeah. So we went to the pier and we rode, well, I sent you guys this photo. Yeah. It was, it was you sent us a photo and I was expecting you to like follow it up with something. I know. And then you just, oh, oh. them like, them like on in a ride. funny position on the ride and I was like, yes. oh, she's going to like tell us yeah. something. About <laughs> no, I just wanted to show After 10 minutes, I was like, is that you? Like, <laughs> 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 um, all right, what should they comment today? Comment your, comment your, sh- Comment your baby. Comment your biggest trauma. <laughs> comment your comment the worst thing you've ever done. Yeah. Comment. <laughs> uh, comment what color your telephone is. Ooh yeah. Comment your home phone number growing up. No, nobody cares. Uh, okay. Com- <laughs> comment. Comment. Comment the last. Give us a full review of the last meal you ate. That's fun. Love that. All right. All right. Love you guys. Love you guys. Have a great week, weekend. We'll see you on Wednesday. Peace. Take it easy.